I've been in the fire service for, this will be my 33rd year. I started in the fire service in 1985. When I left school, I went to work on a farm and there was one of the guys I worked beside. He was he was part of the unit here in Kosai. And it was how he spoke to me and he says, there's someone retiring from the unit, which means there would be an opening. And he said, would you be interested? And I'm like, well, I was always kind of anxious when a fire engine passed on the road, you know, you get that kind of wondering what they were going to. I filled out an application form and I got an interview and got a start in the station. When I joined the fire brigade at the time, it was Strathclyde Fire Brigade. It then progressed into Strathclyde Fire and Rescue, where the fire appliances at the time carried predominantly firefighting equipment. It now carries firefighting equipment and a range of equipment for various rescues. In the springtime and going into summertime, where there's a lot of wildland fires, heat fires, it tends to be that you go from one job to the next, you're finished with that one, um, you're on your way back to the station, you're not even getting to the station, you get called to another one. It tends to fatigue you more going from one instant to the next, but sometimes just a bottle of water will get you going again. When you get called to an instant, you have feelings of anticipation before you arrive at the instant. You don't tend to know how serious it is until you actually get there, regarding of what it is, uh, whether it is a rescue or whether it is a fire. How much have I changed? Apart from getting a few years older, I have changed in, in ways of, when I joined the fire service, I was a single man. I could devote a lot of time to the fire service. I could come and go as I pleased. As I got older, I got married and had a family and I had to try and um, adjust my time in the fire service and bringing up my, my two kids.